Hello friends and welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer board game uh, component overview and uh, game unboxing where we discuss and uh, unbox the game Dwellings of uh, Elder Vale. And this is by Luke Laurie and developed by Peter Vaughn, made by Breaking Games. It plays one to five players, takes about 30 minutes per player and it's for ages, I don't know, what does it say? 14 and up and uh, this is a large massive beautiful game now, I've done a ton of content on this game I have no affiliation whatsoever to the no, I, I actually did a lot of work with uh, them doing the live streaming and uh, Showing off the solo player mode. I filmed them doing this kind of stuff So I'm not gonna do a review video This will be one of my few videos where I don't actually review a game I just talk about what uh, came in the game and the differences between what we played when we first started I'll have links down below in the description to show you the live streams and all that good stuff. There's a ton of review videos out there for this game, which is uh, glorious in any way. It's, it's, it's an amazing game. Um, no bias whatsoever, I promise. Um, but I'm going to take you and show you the different components that it comes with, all the extravagant pieces, and uh, then I will let you have a link down below where you can just buy the game because it's 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 really pretty. Um, we'll, we'll start now uh, with me just pulling out the pieces and, and talking about them uh, individually. The first thing I realized with this game is it's it's massive. Uh, the top-down camera is not going to be able to show you everything. I tried to do that, and uh, unfortunately, the box is so large and there's so much to pull out that I've decided that I'm going to just uh, unbox it by uh, unboxing it beforehand. I know that's not really an unboxing video, but it, it, it's going to work because I'll take each of the components and I'll, I'll talk about them. Like, uh, for instance, you're going to get a ton of these guys here. These are basically your player boards. They're going to come um, equipped with a fully interchangeable... Uh, Without, I know I'm gonna bust this open and like everything's gonna spill out. Okay, a fully interchangeable back and front, and you can choose to play with either or, which will have different unique abilities for your wizard, warrior, workers, and dragons, depending on uh, which faction you choose. And then this, we'll do a zoom in, uh, is gonna have all your components. These are all the different dwellings and your workers and the, the three ma main characters there and your dice, uh, score markers and whatnot. Uh, and of course this little handy dandy cover case that will fit right over it, nice and tight. So that way if you're a klutz like me and it, it falls backwards for some reason, oh goodness, okay, it, it, it did what I was hoping it would do, it didn't spill out all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's gonna hold that in and it's actually rather tight. It fits in really tight and there's all kinds of them. You get to choose between all the different colors. There's black and there's white, there's green, there's blue, there's red, there's yellow. Uh, I think there's a total of like eight of these guys here with both front and back. Uh, a whole bunch of different choices and of course they have a front and back side to them as well and they all function differently the wizard on the blue and the workers on the blue have a unique ability sometimes they won't it kind of switches back and forth a ton of great stuff this is all game trays game trays are like these plastic inserts that kind of customize to your game and uh, with dwellings uh, which is unlike some other games that have game trays and unlike many games that do not have game trays uh, these game tray uh, inserts do function as part of the game uh, for instance here you're gonna have these uh, different card sets here and these guys are all gonna be fitted into this uh, container here they're already already pre set up here and you will be using these throughout the game uh, there are eight different colors as you can see, without doing the glare. There you go. And uh, uh, they, they all fit in really, rather nicely and all their little inserts as well. Uh, this is also part of the setup of the game. These are rather nice and they, they, they're pretty sturdy. I mean, I wouldn't suggest shaking them while you're holding them, but uh, beautiful, beautiful quality, beautiful design, beautiful coloration. Um, uh, we'll, we'll save these for last. These are, these are super fancy uh, as well. Uh, these here are going to be your components. Now in the base game, so these here are the components, and in, in the base game you're going to be getting uh, cardboard pieces, and then it upgrades to plastic pieces, and then it, uh, or, or like wooden pieces without the, in, in, you know, things, and then, and then if you get the super version, uh, like I have, you will get the ones that have kind of a, uh, um, what the word, I don't know what the word is, but like it's actually got little, a, a, a little coloration to them. I can you see that? There's a zoom for you, uh, and they're they're really pretty. Let's buy a meeple something or other. Maybe I'll put a link if I can find it. Uh, but they're really rather nice, and uh, you put these to the side. These are basically your resources that you use throughout the game. You're going to be paying with them. You're going to be gathering them as you move your pieces onto the board. It comes with, of course, game trays. I actually use both of them, so I kind of have everything filled up here as well as the small cards in the game, which we'll be also using. Uh, and there's a little insert area for that as well. Uh, there's a solo mode to the game, the Ghost of Eldervale, and you'll have this nice 
little board here, which also has back art for some reason as well, which is nice. It's just nice to have uh, back art, uh, art that you, you know, space that is unusable for the game. Adding some type of artwork to it is always nice. There's also a board to indicate uh, movement on these specific tracks here. And uh, this this here is you see all the different little tracks um, and, and, and you're trying to get across these tracks to gain specific bonus orbs and whatnot. Uh, there's a glory track here as well. And then you have your points all the way around the board. It's very beautiful. It's actually small enough to fit on the table because this game is rather massive. So making sure that this board was actually smaller uh, than it could have been is, is definitely nice. Uh, another thing here is there's a large, large game trays insert. Uh, and this is the uh, super special expansion. Ah! I knew I was gonna drop stuff, damn it! Uh, but regardless, this is what actually sits in the bottom of the box, so you're not actually going to be, um, you're actually gonna be taking this out, so... Uh... It's, it's not a it's not a design um, fault. It's 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 a me fault. But it, it comes with like little little miniatures that you can place in. Everything has its own space. All the tiles for the game, which is going to make up the game board, even has the back of the dwellings, um, are all going to fit nicely into this little tray here. As well as of course the unique miniatures. This is the Minotaur miniature, and this one here is what you get if you're able to deduce like a survey. There's like some questions, like a little questionnaire kind of thing or riddle that you can kind of solve. Uh, I know that Peter like to do these kind of things and provide a little exclusive content for those of you who are as intelligent as me to figure out these riddles. It's definitely that he just didn't give it to me because I'm harebrained and attempted to do it and couldn't figure it out. These are the most important pieces in, in the game and uh, for some of you you may even if you have the game and not know what these are or, or skip them entirely but you definitely missed out if you did. Uh, these are sound bases and uh, getting to that the, the the viva la resistance or, or the, you know whatever whatever they say I basically you'll take these guys here you'll choose one of the two sound settings it's very important to the gameplay you'll stick these yeah boy you'll stick these guys in here and then when you move them across the board I don't know if this is gonna work on my hand but Yeah, whenever you move them, they'll make a noise. Uh, there's two different versions of the miniatures, which I'll show in a second here, but they'll make different noises depending on the miniatures that you put in them. This is obviously the wrong color with the wrong base, but I didn't want to waste too much time in searching for them. And when you want to turn them off, you just, there's a little clicker in the bottom there. Um, these are basically just extra stuff, like sound bases uh, for the game. Really, really cool. Comes with all of these miniatures here. These are all uh, baddies. These are guys you have to deal with throughout the game. All of them are also colored uh, based on their specific color and where they're supposed to go on the boards. Uh, beautiful, thick, and they have nice little like, it's not just a single color. They have like kind of like a black spray to them. Um, and with the Legendary Edition, I believe you get two different types. So you'll get those and you'll also get, which I believe these ones here are the base game ones. You'll get these miniatures as well. All of these guys have a base and based on which one you put into the base, you'll turn it to one of the sound sides and you can utilize them uh, really, really fancy. Here's here's another one. This is the serpent. We'll, we'll grab another amazing base. I'll attach it before I actually turn this little guy on here and then I'll turn this on. Which will work better because it actually has little, little ports here. So when you actually put it on the board itself, you'll hear the noise. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful sound from the serpent. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what comes in the game. Uh, Dwellings of Elder, Elder Vale. Uh, there is one other little thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and, and disappear really quick. Watch me watch this camera magic. I'm back and I have this. This is uh, the mat for the game. Now, if you're like me, what you'll do is you'll put two mats in here, one from a game, um, Reichbusters from Mythic Games, and then also Dwellings, and then you're gonna break it, and one of the zippers will never zip again. Don't do that, uh, otherwise you're gonna be just fine with this carrying case, it's not gonna break on you. I suggest you do not leave it outside like me as well, um, not this one specifically, but another one that was similar to this. Left it outside, the heat got to this, and it ripped... <laughs> It, it ripped off when I went to grab it. Basically, the heat was so intense for a couple days or weeks, or whatever, uh, that these didn't hold. It's also something that happened to my lighting equipment, actually. Uh, lessons learned. Speaking of this, uh, basically what happens is we're gonna take this little guy out here and you get this big, huge uh, play, this big, huge mat here that you can actually put on a board. This is for the uh, Game Toppers. Game Toppers is like a, a company that lets you take uh, uh, their, their, basically it's like a, it's like a customized playing space that you can put on like a Walmart table and it fits these exact, uh, 
Here, here, I'm gonna just cover the camera up. That is the dwellings uh, map. It's it's rather large. These are super, super high quality. You definitely got your money's worth when picking this up. I think it was like 80 to 90 bucks for this thing. It's massive, it's thick, it's gorgeous. Uh, it does everything right now. Of course, you need a certain amount of table space uh, to do this, but it's, this is not a review video, so this is uh, this is the component. Uh, I love this thing. I'm, I'm gonna be utilizing this every time I play the game, and maybe even when I play other games, I guess like Catan, maybe? Maybe this will fit with Catan too, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff in the Dwellings game. Uh, this is my full unboxing. I'm gonna switch it over after I clean up all the stuff I dropped on the floor. So you see, in a transitional half second, I was able to not only clean up everything on the floor, but also put it all back into the box and put it up here, which just goes to show how easy and quick it is to set out the game and, of course, put it back into the box. Well, I'm obviously kidding. It does take quite a bit of time in order to do so, and will take an extra absorbent amount of time when it comes to getting the game to begin with, especially if you get the big, fat, like, deluxified, legendary version, because you're going to be punching stuff out for a good 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, so warm up those hamstrings when you go into it. That's going to be an adventure. Maybe even bring your wife and kids in, in, into the fun as you organize all this stuff. Personally, for me, that's part of the fun of getting a new game. It's kind of like opening up a Christmas present on day one, uh, but it has extra steps. It's not like Ikea extra steps, which I'm, I'm not very good at. Apparently, Ikea is easy to put together, but for me, it's uh, complex in a way. Uh, this one is, is, is much easier. You know where everything goes. And that, that, that just goes to the sophistication of game trays. When you pull those game trays out, you're going to see where all the cards go. Uh, where all the pieces go and the miniatures and figures and they all have their own unique space and and they fit really well and you kind of have an idea oh this doesn't go in here because it doesn't fit in here i think other than just the main bludge miniatures they all have their own uh, individual spaces that are all the same but because it doesn't matter which space they go in it doesn't matter to give them all their own unique slots, whereas opposed to the player boards, it does. And so your knights and wizards and dragons will all fit in certain areas. And your little dwellings, or I like to call them like little caps that you put on your, your uh, villagers, all have their own spaces as well. When I first was playing this game with a prototype, I was not expecting any of this stuff. I was especially not expecting... Uh, sound bases for the, uh, the, the large minis, the big monsters in the game. Yeah, boy. And I wasn't expecting the extra set of legendary miniatures as well with their own unique abilities. They all have their own cards that all provide their own unique twists to them. Uh, some may say that it's a little overproduced and I would say, shut up. But regardless what you think, I personally think that the game is excellent and, and you should pick it up anyway. It's, it, it has a lot of high quality components to the game. Uh, everything is thick, all the colors are vivid and beautiful and bright, and, and, and also Luke Laurie. I mean, he makes games like Whistle Mountain, which also got my like top five of this last year, so he's a great designer. I, I'm not going to review it, like I said. I won't, because I can't. Technically, I've been do, do much stuff going in, but what I can do is, like I said before, I'll put a link in the description where you can take a look at the live plays that we did and any other kinds of content. There's a ton of reviews out there for you to take a look at this game and how it plays. So I want to kind of give an overview of all the components and like what it took to put everything together and how it fits all beautifully in the box. The game topper. This is going to be a sight to behold at cons. I expect when cons do open sometime in the near future, I hope that people are going to be seeing this game pop up everywhere because it's so beautiful, so vivid, and the sound bases make the game interesting. People want to come over and see what's going on when I sat there playing this for the first time here. When my friends walked by, I have like two or three friends that actually can come over, they were like, what game are you guys playing? And I'm like, <laughs> and uh, they're like, yeah, I want to play this game. And, and for good reason, it's just really top tier quality. And everything that's like, extra bits you don't need any of that stuff if you don't want to have uh, all that stuff for just the gameplay alone you will give it has everything requ required that you need in the base game everything else is just kind of extra other than i guess the legendary expansion which comes with the unique monsters but that's just one other little additional set you still get the solo mode and everything else uh, that comes in the game but just the base stuff you don't need all the extra stuff if you don't want it but it does give a table presence uh, for sure i love this game i think it is 
beautiful, high quality, in your face, and it's something you should definitely take a look at. If you haven't seen Dwellings for some reason, uh, it's it's still available, I believe, or it will be available soon. I'll put a link down below as well for you to take a look at the game. Uh, it's 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 massive. You have to have some space to put it, obviously. I've been hiding it in the corner so far because we still have a small space. But for those of you who actually have a shelf, you'll be able to fit this this bad boy in there pretty, pretty easily, I, I, I suppose. But regardless, though, let me know what you think of the game Dwellings of Elder Veil by Breaking Games. Uh, this this thing here has been um, a beautiful sight to behold in the transition of the prototyping all the way up until the point where it's it's hit my tabletop and I'm so impressed. I am I it's it's amazing. I'm blown away by the quality that they've put through. This is definitely by far their highest quality game, the most beautiful miniatures and the best components I have seen in a long time um, for not only breaking games but a lot of games. Uh, so they really went up and above the um, the degree of expectations I and many other people were expecting. Take a look at <laughs> Dwellings of Elder Vale, please.